it's uh, this is definitely a big development as far as the announcement from the chief executive of uh, the company is concerned and uh, now so far it is his claim uh, that the new data that they will be presenting will show that the vaccine is effective up to 95 percent which would be at par with Pfizer and Moderna but the firm has not given out data the, this data in the public domain yet so as you said it will be closely watched once this data is out in the public domain it will be under a lot of scrutiny because uh, serum uh, because the Oxford vaccine so far it has been known to have only 70 percent efficacy at an overall scale so if that is going to turn to 95 percent it would be a huge boost and especially for countries like India where the Serum Institute is involved in the development of this vaccine and the manufacture of this vaccine and also because this is far more easier to store distribute and transport as compared to the other two vaccines this particular vaccine can be stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius while Pfizer requires storage at about minus 70 degrees Moderna requires it at about minus 20 degrees and also in terms of cost uh, efficacy this would uh, be a big development because uh, this would be far more cheaper than the other two vaccines so this is definitely going to be a big boost to India if uh, AstraZeneca is able to back these claims with the data that they are expected to present in the next few days.